Hello, um, today I'm gonna be kind of pre-writing Venom 2. Um, it comes out in just under a month here where I live. I know it's like, like a week in America, so y'all are lucky. Do not spoil it in the comments, because I will have to kill you. But anyway, no, I'm joking, of course, obviously. Anyway, so yeah, let's just get into my pitch for Venom 2. So we open with Eddie Brock just waking up and we see kind of his morning routine being frequently interrupted by Venom. He's just acting like a child. So then toothpaste all over Eddie and of course that breakfast scene from the trailer. Um, we can see that Eddie is just kind of getting sick of Venom's shenanigans and he just wants a normal life again. But he really cannot have that after the events of the other movie. So... We kind of see the full version of that scene from the last movie, the post credit scene, where he went to interview Carnage. Um, sorry, Cletus Cassidy. So we, we see the interview kind of go off the rails as um, Cassidy asks Eddie to go closer to him, which he does, and he eventually bites Eddie, giving him some of the symbiote DNA. I'm not a big fan of the biting Eddie plotline. It doesn't, like, it's been confirmed for the movie, but I'm not a big fan of it. But we're sticking with it, I guess, because, you know, it's supposed to be, like, accurate. It's like a pre-write. It's not, like, my version. I, I'll pro I might do that after the movie if I don't like it. Um, but, yeah. Okay. Eddie pulls his arm away and just completely leaves the interview altogether. But, anyway. The guards, like, lock the door on Cassidy and leave the cell and just leave. When the symbiote blood becomes one with Cassidy's own... Before we see him taken over, the, like, no, just, like, as that's happening, we see, like, a close-up shot of his DNA, like, in the first Spider-Man movie, and we see the red goo crawl, like, all over him, and we cut the black. It's the next morning, and he is just gone. The guards walk in to see where he is, and he is, he's gone. One of them is looking around, and this red tentacle comes out of nowhere, and grabs his throat and throws him into a wall, like through multiple walls. And then, so he's presumably dead after that. And the other guy, he tries to leave, but the tentacle closes the door. And as he turns around horrified, he sees carnage and he bites his head off. And that's the end of the guards. And then Cletus escapes the prison, so carnage is on the loose. And then we see Eddie, he just wakes up. Wait, hold on, sorry. Um, I have this all written. I have notes, and they're really confusing. Because I am bad at writing. That night, we see Eddie. Um, well, Venom. So, well, somebody's getting mugged. And we see Venom just come down. Or, or, like, he's sitting on a rooftop. He jumps down, and he takes the guy out. He just, boom. And, yeah. Eventually... Eddie's kind of mad at Venom because, like, he ate the guy's head and Eddie is not good doing that a lot of the time. But then they have a bigger problem before they can argue. They they see Carnage jumping from rooftops. Venom just mutters under his breath without consulting Eddie. He just mutters, bad guy. And they just go. He just zip across the building to try and cast, ca catch Carnage. Try saying catch carnage ten times fast. It's really hard. Catch carnage, catch carnage, catch carnage. Catch... See what I mean? Anyway, and my notes just died. Hold on one second. All right, we are back almost. So after he eventually knocks carnage to the ground, carnage gets up and Venom looks at him. He's Venom's petrified by this. We get that oh, it's a red one scene. Um, but Venom tells, and then it, it, Venom just leaves. Eddie does tell Venom, like, if you, if you come back out, you can eat him. Venom comes out like that. Just, I can't click, hold on, like that, hold on. Like that. Like that. There we go. And he leaves. He just goes and he attacks him. But it's no match. Carnage essentially pins Venom to a wall and he just kind of, not impales him, but he, like, sticks him to the wall with spikes. And then he peels back, he says, he peels back his mask and he says, he says that iconic line from the trailer, you and I are the same, Eddie. What's yours is mine and what's mine is yours. Before just leaving, just zip, he's gone. Eddie gets like kind of 
uncomfortable with this. But then we get a call. But then we see Anne and her boyfriend Don from the previous movie. Um, just kind of having, you know, they're just having a normal night before Anne gets a call from Eddie. Um, and he asks about the symbiotes and he asks if there was a red one. She says, no, there was never a red one. And v- Venom makes Eddie hang up. Venom says, now I'm going to take a page out of High Top Films book here. Eddie says, no, sorry, Venom says um, that that red symbiote is his offspring because whenever Cletus bit Eddie, some of Venom's DNA went into him, creating carnage. Um, Eddie is obviously kind of annoyed by this and just shocked. He just asks, is there anything else you haven't told me? Eddie reveals that, um, sorry, Venom reveals that Eddie was not his first host. Um, he says it was just some New Yorker who thought he was some kind of big shot hero. And then he says, we don't, but they don't have time to finish talking about it because there's a bigger threat on the loose, Carnage. There's, we see on the news that Carnage is going to, no, sorry. We see on the news that Carnage is going to New York. Um, so Eddie and Venom decide they need to go to New York to stop Carnage. On, on their way, um, Eddie is, sorry, Venom is stopped by a woman who is called Frances. You know, you probably know her scream, shriek from the comics. I'm getting my characters mixed up, but she tells him that she knows something about it, some, uh, something that looks exactly like him, causing terror around the streets. Eddie obviously presumes it's Carnage and asks more information before she turns into sh- Shriek and tries to fight him. It's a not it's not a quick fight. It's a, it's not as long as the fight between Carnage will be, but it's there is a fight and um Eddie barely wins. It's a tough fight for him to win, but he does win it in the end. He does he does eventually leave and he on his way to New York, they they go really fast and when they get there, there's a rave. Um Eddie tries to he literally pleads for Venom not to go in because he knows that the noise is lethal but he do- Venom just doesn't listen to Eddie because he's in control now um, and he just goes in anyway a thing I didn't like about the first Venom movie was that whenever Venom was kind of like whenever Eddie was Venom he didn't have any control it was just all Venom that is something I didn't like I kind of wish that it was kind of more similar to the comics and that's what we'll be addressing in this version of the movie Um, so Venom, he's like, whenever they get in there, the music's about to start, and Eddie's just begging Venom, he's just like, please, please get out of here, it's not worth it, and Venom just refuses to listen to Eddie, he just grunts, and the music starts, and Venom immediately screams, and runs out, and he knocks everyone and everything down in the process, and while all this, Eddie and Venom are arguing, because Venom wouldn't listen to Eddie, and Eddie ends up calling Venom a useless parasite and we know from the first movie that Venom would just hate that so whenever they get out of, outside and just far away from it Ed, the symbiote eventually leaves Eddie just goes into like a drain just not talking to him and that just leaves Eddie alone Eddie decides that he needs to go to do a report on Carnage to finally finish his report that he never got to finish but he sees a newspaper on the street and he lifts it up because it's another report on the exact same thing from the Daily Bugle. The pictures are by Peter Parker and they're really clear photos. Eddie says, Eddie kind of grunts whenever he sees Peter's name and says, I hate that guy. He eventually just forgets about it and leaves because he needs to do his report so that it's not just another one in the millions that are going to be coming out soon. Eventually, Eddie gets to Cassidy. He gets up close to Carnage and he just wants to do his report. But... Just as Carnage is going to run at Eddie, he's going to cut his head off, or sorry, bite his head off. The Venom symbiote just emerges back onto Eddie and he just knocks Carnage down. Kind of delaying him for a little minute so that Eddie can just ask the Venom why he came back. Which Venom responds with, you were going to get yourself killed. I I say it's better that we get killed together. And then as the fight goes on, Venom is down. He's almost out. Um, and during all this, Eddie has finally gotten full control, not full control, but they're sharing the control. So it's not just Venom, it's Eddie has some control. Um, and as they're down, Carnage is about to bite their head off, but he gets hit with a web and pulled back. 
The Web's from Spider-Man, played by none other than Andrew Garfield. Um, I chose Garfield Spider-Man because he is, of course, in my opinion, he's a, in my opinion, he's my favorite Spider-Man, and I feel like he would be a ba- the best fit for this universe, and he never really got a fair shot with the character, and he does deserve a second chance. So, yeah. Eventually, Venom says, that's my old host, and he gets really angry, but Eddie says, no, I need to be in control now. And then, Eddie and Peter team up, and they eventually do take down Carnage. Um, the symbiote, the Carnage symbiote is locked away, it's just detained. Cassidy is arrested, and Spider-Man leaves. We, do, we cut to Eddie in San Francisco again, um, and he does just kind of a swing around the city, like in most of the Spider-Man movies, and the end. Oh, wait, there's an after credit scene, I forgot about that. Um, the after credit scene is really just No Way Home set up, because it's all multiverse now. Um, I know there was that leaked post credit scene from um, Far From Home, which was like kind of the audio of that, and then Venom, kind of putting it in the MCU. But I've seen some people saying that's fake, and then I've seen a lot of people saying that's real. So I'm not including that. It very may well happen, and it would be cool if it did. But for my one, since in this version of the story, it wouldn't work because I've already introduced Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. So the after credit scene would be Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man, just getting sucked into the multiverse, setting up him in Spider-Man No Way Home. Whew. Thank you for watching, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video, and yeah, uh, bye.